I come from a long line of master thieves who kept all their secrets and stealing in an Asian button. The subscribe button for the Mulatto Slide channel. So make sure you click it and become a master thief. How's it going everybody? Joseph here and today I have an interesting question to put in the table. How does one become a master thief? Now, hearing this question it might sound stupid at first, but it actually sounds interesting at the same time because throughout the Sly Cooper games, throughout the entire story, you have been put this information, this thing has been smashed into your brain that Sly comes from a long line of master thieves who kept their secrets of stealing in an ancient book, the Vivas Raccoonus. So, how does one exactly become a Master Thief? Do they only need to read this book and they are instantly Master Thief material? Well, to tell the story, we're going to start with Sly Cooper and the Thieves Raccoonus. What even is a Master Thief? Well, I think it's a great place to start because honestly, I don't think we discussed this near enough. What is a Master Thief? Well, this term gets tossed around and probably very few people in the fan base or even in the series actually come to a solid conclusion or a solid definition. What is a Master Thief? Well, let's go back to the very beginning to the first ever introduction of Sly. Sly comes from a line of Master Thieves that kept their secrets and stealing in this book, The Thieves Raccoons. But what is exactly the term Master Thief? If we go for a definition of Thief first, is a person who steals another person's property, especially by stealth, and without using force. Now, when we go to the definition of master, what is a master? Master, in my opinion, is someone that is on the top, someone that teaches you something, someone that has this title, let's say for example the master chef, basically the person that is responsible for all the other guys, basically the teacher. So in this definition, master thief. Well, according to Sly, you are a master thief if you steal from criminals and not from ordinary people. Hmm, that's interesting. This concept of stealing from other criminals and not from ordinary people kind of goes back all the way into the Robin Hood story. Stealing from the rich to give to the poor. It all comes down to this concept of not stealing from those who don't need to be stealed, basically. I don't know if this makes sense, but Make sure to leave your own thoughts and ideas in the comments down below. This is a discussion, so by all means, leave your thoughts and ideas. What is a Master Thief in your eyes? Now, let's go back to the question I put it in the beginning of the video. By having this book, by having this knowledge, this ancient book with all the tricks and skills, do you automatically become a Master Thief? Well, the answer is no. As you guys saw on Sly Cooper and the Thieves Raccoonus, Clockwork and the Finish 5 stole the book. They divided the book into five pieces and they committed horrorous crimes across the globe. Now, let's take the example of Mugshot. Did Mugshot understand a single word of that book? The answer is no, simply plain no. Even if Mugshot had all the pages at his disposal, he would still not use the book. So that did not made him a master thief. Of course, there are some individuals in this world that could use the book and that's why Sly always says the book needs to be in the right hands. With great power comes great responsibility and all that nonsense. Now, there is actually one small piece of dialogue at the end of the first game that really caught my eye and really emphasizes this discussion. What Clockwork says, the Cooper clan is nothing without this book, which Sly replies, it's not the book, it's you. Basically, the term Master Thief is not based on the Thieves Raccoonus, it's not based on a book, it's not based on a piece of paper, it's based on the personality of the person. And this is something actually a bit influenced by the media as well, because let's take Interpol for example, the fact that Sly was a rookie and Sly technically become this master free throw the course of these two years was because of the media. As you know, the events of Sly 1 are not actually reported as much in the media. What, I, what I'm trying to say is, for example, Sly defeated Riley, 
uh, defeated Rayleigh, defeated Mugshot, defeated Mr. Ruby, defeated Panicking, and defeated Clockwork. But on the first four bosses they he defeated, the media did actually not acknowledge Sly. He acknowledged Carmelita and the Interpol. And even Carmelita didn't know what was going on. She just arrived late to the scene of the crime. But when he goes to Clockwork, Carmelita teamed up with Sly. And they both they took down the crazy owl. And at that point, Carmelita realized that Sly is actually working for the law, but in a different perspective, you know? And uh, all of this combined made Sly grow into this character, into this master thief concept. So at the end of the day, it's all a matter of reputation. That's the conclusion I want to bring up. It's all a matter of reputation. So, with all this in mind, I want to ask you guys, is Sly now considered a master thief? Is Paradox considered a Master Thief? Is Clockwork considered a Master Thief? Is any other character in the series, apart from Sly, considered a Master Thief? If so, make sure you leave your name down below and why is he a Master Thief? By all means, leave it down below. And yeah guys, with this we conclude today's video. What is a Master Thief? It's actually this idea has been into my head because we get this name tossed around and there's not really a definition so this was just my small take on the definition i know i actually didn't go that deep into the question itself but it's just a brief discussion either way make sure you leave all your opinions in the comments down below and get ready guys because i am planning another live stream for you and it's gonna be a Bentley run, a Bentley run, yes, we're gonna give some love to Bentley, so stay tuned for that, I'm a lot of Sly, and I'll catch you guys next time, peace, out.